And my last question is that we've been taught that the spirit of depression is a spirit. Yes, it's an evil spirit. I would like if you could kindly go a little more in depth regarding this topic and how to rebuke mm -hmm. this evil spirit. When every person, man or woman or child, whoever it may be, feels and knows that they have that depression and you come to church, know that that is an evil spirit. And the origin comes because of witchcraft and curses from antiquity. There has always been witchcraft and curses where they curse people, they curse a family, and they say, let all the generations until the 10th or the 20th or until a hundred years go by, let them all be covered with this curse that they all may suffer from depression and suicide. And those curses come, and that is why we see that a lot. It's very common. So, for those who are in the church, for those who are in the church, if you see your people, your loved ones, your family members, children in that state of depression, lay hands on them and rebuke that spirit of depression and say, Lord, I know that I do not have your support because I do not fulfill anything word for word as you deserve it. But I only ask for mercy. Since you are love and since you are mercy, I ask my Lord that you may support me. I am going to lay hands on this person, my child, nephew, niece, husband, wife, whoever it may be. They are depressed. It's a demon. I know that through curses, through witchcraft, but I know that you are powerful. I ask that you may deliver that spirit and that you may remove it. Protect this person. Protect them from risking their lives or harming other people. Deliver, Lord. That is what we ought to do. And do not feel unworthy of saying, no, I don't have power. I don't have anything of God. God never told me that I was going to have gifts, nor do I have gifts, so I cannot lay hands. No, you do it. Do it, because you have learned it here. You learned that God is power, that God listens, that God is everywhere, and that he is watching us. Therefore, why are we not going to take that opportunity to ask the Lord for mercy for that being who is suffering depression? Now, you yourself, if you suffer from depression... Ask the Lord and say, Lord, I am in a depressive state. I don't want to live. I don't have happiness. I don't have joy. I don't find meaning to life. I feel that I don't want to live. I hear voices. I feel strange things. Lord, deliver me. Deliver me because they are demons. The devil wants to destroy me. Have mercy. Help me. Help me because I can't do this by myself. And the Lord will be there next to you and deliver you. That is what we ought to do.